each and every one. It's a good we could be in the house of the Lord. One more time, middle of the week, to worship Almighty God. Hallelujah. Could we all lift our hands towards heaven and just worship the Lord? Father, we thank you today. You've been our Father. You kept us throughout the day. Lord, you brought us in this place to worship. In the tent of worship, whereby we can show forth praises and worship unto you. God, you receive it. Bless those who are looking on online, Father, today. You bless them. You minister to them. God, you touch them. You know every heart, mighty God. And I pray, God, today, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you deliver and you set free, my God, even as we worship you in Christ's name. Hallelujah. Could you give Jesus Christ a good clap offering? Can somebody call his name? Jesus. Jesus. That name that is above every other name. The devil trembled at that name. Could you call his name one more time? Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to worship in that name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A pleasant good evening to each and every one of you. And welcome into the house of the Lord this evening. I just want to say welcome to our national and international audience. We know that there is a blessing in store for you this evening. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your hands together as we welcome our national and international audience this evening. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is risen from the dead. And we all know that Jesus is Lord of our lives this evening. Now greet the person next to you and welcome them into the house of the Lord. He is Lord, He is Lord, He is Lord, He is Lord, He has risen from the dead and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord, He is Lord, He is Lord, He is Lord, He has risen from the dead and He is Lord. Every to give him thanks with a grateful heart for sparing our lives today for renewing our strength so that we can come into his house and give him all the honor all the glory and all the praises because it rightfully belongs to our Lord and our Savior our master our King and our deliverer this evening amen hallelujah praise ye the Lord give thanks unto his name Praise the Lord of oh God, give thanks unto His name. Praise the Lord, give thanks unto His name. Praise the Lord of oh God, give thanks unto His name. Praise the Lord, give thanks unto His name. Praise the Lord of oh God, give thanks unto His name. He has redeemed our lives from the snares of the fowler. He has delivered us 
person next to you and say to them, look what the Lord has done in my life. I am alive today. Amen. Hallelujah. My life is in you. My strength is in you. And my hope is in you. Hallelujah.
in his presence. Father, I pray we just come, Lord, and ride upon the praises of your people, Lord, as we worship you and as we praise you. Lord, just have your way in the midst of us. Just have your way in our lives this evening, my God. Just have the way. Have your way in those that are viewing us this evening, my God. I pray there will be breakthroughs. There will be healing, deliverance, my God. Lord, bless them. Let your, let your will be done in our lives this evening. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. I just want to be where you are. Dwelling daily in your presence. Draw me near to where
Hallelujah. We know that He's the maker of the heavens. He's the master of the seas. He's the mover of the mountains to us this evening. Amen. Hallelujah. We come to glorify His name. Why? Because He's seated on His throne this evening.
here tonight. We serve the true and the living God. His name is Jesus. His name is above every other name. There is healing in his name tonight. There is hope in his name tonight. There is deliverance in his name tonight. There is success in his name tonight. Glorify his name because he is worthy tonight. Give him your all. Get your breakthrough right where you are.
Lord, thank you, Jesus, for your love tonight. Thank you for your mercy tonight, my God. Thank you that we are alive tonight. Oh, we're in the land of the living tonight. Thank you, you have your hands on your feet tonight. Thank you, you can make a boast in your God tonight. Oh, Jesus, you're wonderful. You're awesome. You're august. You're magnificent in all the earth, my God. Oh, we praise you tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Thank you tonight, Jesus. Thank you tonight, thank you tonight, sweet spirit of God. We praise you, we praise you. Victory lies in your praises tonight. Oh, as we learn Sunday, if you worship him, if you give him your worship, you will grant you the desires of your heart. If you put your trust in him, not some of your trust, but all of your trust in him. Tonight, lift your hands and praise him. Tonight to be your night to get a breakthrough. Because he is here. Jesus is here tonight. Oh, glory to God the Father. Oh, we praise you. Oh, Jesus. This is your time, church. This is your hour. No man died for you, but Christ died for you. Oh, we take you tonight, Father. Oh, we bless your name. How beautiful you are. How wonderful you are. How glorious you are. There is none like unto you tonight, my God. You was and is and is to come. You give us our hope for the future tonight. Oh, we praise you. Oh, sweet spirit of God. Oh, we praise you tonight. Oh, Jesus, you're here tonight. Oh my God, you're here tonight in this house. You said tonight you dwell in the praises of your people tonight. Oh my God, and break through lies and praises tonight. Oh, bless his name. Oh, he's your all tonight. Tell it all to Jesus, for he's a friend of it all. Cast all your cares upon him, for he carry it for you. Oh my God. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. He gives you beauty for ashes, oh God. Oh, church, he is here tonight. Oh, he is wonderful. God, you are awesome, Jesus. How powerful you are. How mighty you are. You have moved the feelings of our infirmities tonight. Oh, sweet Lamb of God. Oh, my God, we praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name tonight, Jesus. Oh, Spirit of God, you're here. Oh, you are wonderful. Oh, church, he is here tonight. Oh, he is here tonight. Give him a clap tonight. He is here. Oh, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. For where Christ has made you free, you are free tonight, church. Oh, He saved you tonight. He delivered you. He set you free. He gave you life tonight. Where you can clap your hands. Where you can lift and praise Him tonight. Because He alone has word. Word is the Lamb that take it away. The sins of the world. His blood was shed for you and I. That you and I will have life. And have it more abundantly. This is the church of Jesus Christ. And the church of Jesus Christ is life. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name. Oh, we praise you tonight. Praise you tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, 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 the sweetest name I know. The sweetest name I know tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, we just praise you, we just praise you. 
Oh, he is here tonight. Thank you tonight, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, tonight. We praise your name tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you tonight. Give the Lord a clap offering tonight. Truly, that is a powerful worship. And truly, the Spirit of the Lord is here tonight. It's all about Him tonight. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You could have your seats tonight. Praise you. Could you give the worship team a hand tonight? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A pleasant good night to each and every one. And I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And to those who are looking on, we welcome you to our Wednesday night service. And we know tonight that the Lord will bless your heart. In fact, he has already started that tonight. Amen? Amen. Truly, the Spirit of the Lord is here. And where he is, there is liberty. Amen? Amen. Amen. Um, tonight, before I get into the word of the Lord, is there anyone in our midst who is here for the first time tonight? Are there any visitors in our midst tonight? Any visitors? Could you stand tonight? Praise God. We welcome. Give them a clap tonight. Hallelujah. We appreciate your presence tonight, being in the house of the Lord. And your life will never be the same tonight. Praise the Lord. Now you all realize that um, Pastor is not here tonight. I cannot fill the spot. Amen. He's a doctor. I'm just a patient. Amen? I thank God for the opportunity to share God's word with you all tonight. Thank God for my pastor who is on doing the work of the Lord at this time. Amen? Teaching and educating other believers. Amen? So tonight, before I look to the Lord, before I go to his word tonight, I truly thank God for his presence tonight. He is here. And that is all that we need. We need Jesus. Amen. Could we bow our heads tonight? Father, I give you praise and thanks tonight. Thank you for the move of your spirit in this house tonight, O oh God. Truly that you are here tonight. Lord, as I stand up before this congregation tonight, O oh Lord God, to bring forth your word. Your word is already anointed, O oh God. But anoint me, your child, tonight, O oh Lord God. As I would minister to the people that their heart will become stronger to endure, Lord God, the cross that is set before them tonight, O oh God. Father, have your own way tonight, O oh Lord God. Touch their hearts, touch their minds, touch those who are looking on tonight, that their lives will be blessed, their lives will be changed tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Last week, Sunday, if many of you all can remember, I'll just take up a little bit from where Pastor, he left off. Truly, it is a timely word for the church. Amen. Last week, Pastor talked about the power of endurance. And tonight, I just want to be a little practical with you all, a little down to it with you all. Truly, many of us, we have been serving the Lord for a number of years. Even me, myself, this year will make me 20 years serving the Lord at this ministry. And truly my life has changed. And I decided to help change the life of others through the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we learned last week, and I'll pick up a little bit from where Pastor left off. And tonight my message is entitled, Don't Forget Calvary in Your Tribulation. Tonight all of us here, we live in a physical world. And I want to make a comparison tonight but what our Lord Jesus Christ had to suffer before he went to Calvary. I know many of you all here, and those who are looking on, sometimes in this life, you end up in a rock and a hard place. Amen. Tonight, we got to endure to the end. And church tonight, the end is not very far again. Amen. I know you all, they give me a little nickname in this church, call me the fireman. But tonight, I want to speak to your heart. Amen. As pastor taught us, 
Endurance is not an option. It is a necessity for each one of us. Endurance will never fail. Amen. A believer can never be defeated only if he gives up. Amen. Endurance is to produce is produced by the testing of your faith. We learned that on Sunday. Amen. Endurance encourages expect expectant expectance encourages endurance. Amen. Tonight I give my little topic there. Don't forget Calvary in tribulation. And I go to John 16 to the tree. All of us here, in every part of our lives, we are all human beings. We are a part of the church of Jesus Christ. Amen? Every day in our life, we face some sort of trial and tribulation. Whether it be in our families, on the job, on the roads, in our business, wherever we go, we have some sort of opposition in our lives. Some of us have some problems with our health. Some of us have a lot of problems with hurts. Hurts that nobody knows about. Only you and God. Amen? As a believer, how are we going to handle all of this when there is nobody around? Humanly to help us. And I could say many of us here tonight, even me myself, sometimes we end up in problems. Tight spots as we would say. And when we look around for help, sometimes we don't want nobody to help us because the meat of the matter is so touchy at some times. You can't really share it with maybe your own wife or your husband or your mother. Some things that you go through as a believer. Amen. Remember Hannah? Hannah had a problem. And I will get to the scripture just now. As you all know in 1 Samuel, she wanted a child. She didn't go around telling everybody. Because God has closed up her womb. But God knows why he closed up her womb. Because he knows in the very near future, that woman will have a prayer. That will change her circumstance. You see, Hannah, she loved the Lord, just as all of us, serving God. But some point in time, she had a breaking point in her life. And she could not turn to anybody because nobody could understand. Many of us here tonight, I include myself, we have situations in our lives that we are about to break and we want to give up. That is why I believe on Sunday was a timely word of endurance. Because we as believers, sometimes we want to give up and give in. And try it in and turn back. But I'm here to let you know, the God that you serve tonight will not disappoint you. But he will appoint you to success tonight. Because if you give him that opportunity at that breaking point, just as Hannah but one thing I admire about Hannah, she turned to God and she went into the house of the Lord. When you have problems in your life, don't go to Tom, Dick, and Harry because your business is going to be all over the street. Turn to God. She went into the house of the Lord. Amen. And she poured out her soul before God. Look where that woman reached. She didn't cry. You know. She went a little way beyond crying. Sometimes when you lose a loved one. Amen, Sister Versal. When you lose a loved one. You go a little more than the natural crying. So I come from here. And that woman had a problem. Nobody could solve. Amen. Many of us in this assembly. Those who are looking on. Sometimes we have problems. Nobody can solve. We are human beings. And God 
is going to help us through those problems tonight. Amen. And John 16, 23 says, These things are spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of what? Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Jesus said, in this world, we all know that we are in this world, but we are not of this world. We are on a pilgrimage journey out of this world at the song of the rapture or a death that will take us out to be with our Lord. Amen. And the Lord gave us some comfort in scriptures. All of my scriptures are scriptures of comfort to you and I tonight. Amen. We need comfort. When you come out of these four walls, when you come out of your home and you step out into that world there, you step out in a war zone. In a battlefield. And if you feel the shooting easy, Satan is shooting easy. It is time enough that when you leave your home, leave the church, that you have on the whole armor of God. This is serious time we are living in church. And it's time enough we put on the whole armor of God whereby we can withstand the darts and the fiery trials of the enemy. Amen. And we must not allow the trials and tribulations of this world to stop us from reaching our goals in Christ Jesus. Amen. As I said before, don't forget Calvary. Every time we want to give up, and I will take you all to get Gethsemane. And I want you all to picture in your mind when Jesus was in Gethsemane. He was there. He was praying. He was sweating drops of blood. And very soon they will come for him. His disciples was not too far from him. They fell asleep. Usually that was happening every time he go to pray. You all don't fall asleep. In your prayer time. Always keep your eyes out. You see as soldiers in the army of God. When you're drinking water. You always look up and drink. Because the enemy. Is always after you. And I. You see if he get us tonight. And he destroy us tonight. The message that we will be carrying of the gospel. Will not be able to reach others. That their lives will be saved also. Amen. This gospel is a gospel of love, of peace, of joy, and eternal life. Amen. When Jesus was there, and before I, I, I minister this to you all, I had some trials of my own. Many times I want to give up. Many of us sometimes we don't have people to confide in. Maybe we don't trust them. So you got to turn to God. And I grew up in my Christian life like that. I said, Lord... I have a problem. Many nights I would cry. And I would get the answer in the fullness of time. And many of all you all who cry at night, maybe for your husband, for your children. I know it's a battle with plenty of people, children. People who are saved. The children giving them trouble, problems. It's not working out for them. But I'm here to let you know the answer is coming soon. The answer is coming soon. When Hannah prayed, she left it at the altar. And in the fullness of time, she had Samuel. Amen. Her sacrifice, she made a great sacrifice, but it wasn't successful to her. Samuel became her success. Samuel was able to anoint and to appoint great men in the Bible, in the lineage coming on to Jesus Christ. What a great Samuel was. You see, she made a sacrifice for her son, who was a success. When you cry on your bed. I'm here to let you know parents and family. When you're crying for your children. That sacrifice of tears. That sacrifice of, of crying out to God. At the altar many times. Your children will become a success. Amen. Remember the prayer of Hannah. That will encourage your hearts tonight. When Jesus was there. Jesus was alone. They came for him right. And I want to let you know, when you're going through some trials and tribulations, Jesus knew what he had on his mind. He had you and I. 
He had a church on his mind. That is why he continued to go on. And when Jesus was there in, that, in, in Gethsemane, and they came for him, what happened? Peter struck the soul here. Jesus performed another miracle. He put back the man together, right? right? Amen. After that, when they arrested him, what happened to everybody else? They left. They left. Amen. When you're in your problem, who does be around you? When things going nice, as pastors say, everybody want to be your friend. Amen. When you're in trouble, everybody chicken out on you. They leave you alone in the hot water. Amen. When they arrested Jesus, he didn't give up. He stood before everybody that they took him to. What they found in him? He was blameless. They found no fault in this man. And I'm here to let you know tonight, sometimes the problems that you have, the situation in your heart, you didn't ask for it. But God put you through a test to see if you're going to give up. And I'm here to let you know tonight, don't give up. Amen? You talk about your problems. What do these problems have to do with God? If you didn't have problems, how you know God could solve them? If you were perfect, you didn't need God. Amen? You didn't need God. You're perfect. There is only one perfect, that is Christ Jesus. Amen. And the word of God says in Romans 12, 12, rejoicing in hope. Every one of us as Christians, as believers in the house of God, we have a hope in Christ Jesus. He is alive. He is seated at God, the Father's right hand. He is making a decision for you and I that we could come out of the problems and the situations and circumstances we are in tonight. We could come out from that sickness or that disease that is bound in us. He could break those chains and set us free if we could just have that hope in him tonight. Amen. Patient in tribulation. Hannah had patience. Amen. Jesus had patience when he stood before Pilate. When the block is bared, he had patience. Many times he did not answer none of them. When you go in trouble, you want to give up. I want to let you know tonight. Think about what Jesus went through for you and I. Think about it. Every time you want to go back to the world that you came out, out of, remember what your Lord went through for you and for I and for humanity. Amen. Then in this in Romans 8, 18. Amen. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared. Listen to this. That the time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Amen. When you're going through your problem, your situation, God is molding you and making you for something better in the future. Amen. Look where you was in the world. Look where you are today. Amen. When you look back, when I look back from where I was 